What I'm most excited about in general in my life and career is this overlap between digital tools and the physical world. If you look at a lot of the technologies that we're playing with at Concepts of Emergence and really everywhere at Loop, it, it has that flavor. When we're using VR trackers, it's a way with very high speed, very low latency to digitize the position of something that's in the world, right? It's like following something that's in the physical world. It's, I'm waving my hand around and that information about where my hand is is like instantaneously available to a bunch of computers that are gonna do some stuff with it. The industry right now as relates to cobots and some of these other technologies, they do give you really good access to the robot. You can grab a robot and move it around. But when you're talking about these very large robots, you don't really have access to it in the same sort of way. You can't interface it as directly. And Unreal Engine has really given us the opportunity to, to use some of these good tools and get really close to these large robots. People can be intimidated by bigger robots and they don't expect them to be something that you can control like that. And so they see it and they're like, whoa. And they kind of take a step back to really understand what they're seeing in front of them. And then they look over and they see Josh's little six-year-old kid just waving a wand around and it's moving with it perfectly. Then it kind of takes away the scary part of the robot or scary stereotype of the robot. As a technology that can bring together digital and physical space, Unreal Engine is, I don't see anything that is even close to, to providing that kind of capability. And, and there are tremendous uses for that. that. That overlap of digital and physical world, I think all of the technologies that we're playing with have, have some connection to that idea. Thank you.